Hey Rap Bags, it's Jay. Do you remember Small Arms? It was meant to be released earlier on this year. It was delayed from last year, but we haven't heard too much about it in the last few months. In fact, they've gone pretty silent or sporadic over the summertime, where it seems a lot of developed changes happens. They got a brand new lead creator, and it seems like they got some new community management. So these things happen, but it was a bit of a shame that some of the good communication they were having kind of dipped quite a bit. They had been doing like regular dev blogs every Friday on their Steam page, and they've been talking on Twitter a lot, TikTok, you name it. But I'm pleased to say in the last two or three weeks, they're back on form. They're showing off more than ever, and some of it looks absolutely fantastic. Also, a little nod to that in the future, though, Small Land will be joining grounded content on my second channel. I'm trying to keep my main survival channel for more sort of mature, grown up, or just really big news titles or updates for games I really want to cover, like Valheim in the future, like The Mistlands. And next year is just so busy with so many games like Nightingale, Ark 2 and more. But yeah, as it's a news video I haven't done for a while and at the moment Grounded is just popping off on my second channel. I don't really want to interrupt that at the moment. Then here is everything you need to know recently about Smallland. So the game has shown off some new clips and you know what? The world looks 10 times better. Some of the early trailer footage we saw and the gameplay did look very sparse. The world didn't look like it had enough foliage and it just basically looked too empty. But it looks like they've definitely ramped up a lot more now in terms of the grasses, different types of foliage and plants lying around. And obviously we've seen more of the insects here. We have got night bugs or fireflies. So are we going to be able to ride them, tame them like we can with so many of the others? Who knows? But that's the crucial difference between something like Small Land and Grounded. That Small Land is going to be focused on mounts and creatures to your aid, whereas Grounded, they're nothing more than a few pets. And obviously, this game is going to be a bit more sandbox, although Grounded is still a fantastic survival simulator. Like, it has got a story and stuff in it, but it's still one of the most hardcore survival games you can play. Like, effectively, if you put it on the hard mode, it is really challenging anyway. But Small Land is shaping up. This looks great, this looks nice. Now, when I had a chance to talk to the lead developer before he moved on to elsewhere, they spoke, or he spoke, a lot about the trees being a big focus. How you'd be able to build up in the trees, but you'd also be able to build up everywhere else as well. And the trees are going to still be an important part of the focus, I'm guessing. The shape of these trees does look a little bit odd still. They look kind of fat still, but I guess that's just the perspective you have to deal with. Because when you're that small, having a tree that you can climb and, and do in that way, it just simply, I guess, gets way too big. So I still think like perspective is a little bit off, but it's certainly better than it was. And it's definitely looking a little bit more natural ground is the same problem hence why you can't really go up into any of the big trees because it's just simply way too large but in small land the creatures are meant to be a little bit bigger than the ones in grounded in terms of you as a playable character but yeah the actual atmosphere of it looks great you can see the light coming through the mist it looks just much more vibrant and full and we get another look at like that big difference about being able to ride creatures. As I said, it's a big difference between this and Small Land that you will be able to ride around on stuff. And the models look good as well. The actual character model here of these weird little creatures that we're going to be. The model looks great here for the grasshopper. And you're going to see it literally take off the legs, the arms. It looks fantastic and it looks different enough. It looks more realistic, I guess. That's the take they've gone for. A different type of art style, not so cartoony as grounded. Now, I am going to mention them a lot because I have done, because it's just natural. They're both games that come from a very similar point of view, but I definitely have got some big differences, which I've covered in lots of videos on my second channel. Here we see some more of the bases, and it looks like they've spruced up a lot of the crafting stations, particularly the furnaces and stuff. It looks great. It looks twee. I was worried a little bit, it'd be a bit too borrower looking, but I'm actually starting to really appreciate the look of it. It's definitely got a fantasy feel to it, sort of gothic, I guess, uh, fantasy, a little bit with the candles here and stuff like that. And the different base building pieces, you can see we've got curved roofs, we've got more decorating pieces as well by the looks of things, the candlestick holders, and then that strange thing that's on the landing, keys that we can put on like, I guess, sort of sideboards or like tribute stands or trophy stands. And the world here looks great. Again, another sign that the game's come on leaps and bounds with just so much more foliage and a lot more atmosphere. And here we see a little bit more effect, I guess, of the world kind of going through a bit of a windy phase. Weather is meant to be a big aspect of small lands, the way it's going to change from season to season. Although we don't really see like raindrops here or anything else, I think it still just shows this little clip that, yeah, the world looks more vibrant. It looks more alive. And yeah, that's why I'm really impressed. That's why I'm finally covering it. I've seen a few of these clips, but I still felt like they just weren't enough for me to really put into one video. So I left it a while. And yeah, I have been busy with Grounded and other games. 
but I am very looking forward to Smallland. I think it's going to fit in nicely, and I think it could be a potential to be just as big as some of the other survival games out there. So judging by what has been said before, the devs said we would emerge from an underground place. This is looking like what it's going to be like. This is how we're going to start the story of Smallland, explore the world, greeting some of these guards as we go down this dank, dark tunnel before coming out like we saw just there. It looks cool uh, if we can explore some of this world, if there's NPCs to visit in a town or an underground city like this, that would be really, really cool. You get to see more of like the matches as lights as well in the seedings and this strange, I guess, dripping, it looks like jewellery. Uh, if It might be just spider silk, you never know, but a light, it'd be cool if we could place that around our bases and stuff too. And this is where it all kicked off. Their new community manager basically two weeks ago said that they're going to start showing more stuff off. So yeah, it's good to see. Just a shame they had a bit of a dip and I feel like they could have probably done a little bit more in telling people what was going on or kind of give some sort of ETA on the demo. But that's the way things pan out, I guess. Obviously losing their lead creator and having to get a new person involved, I'm sure that took a good few months and things may have changed since then. They may have decided to give the game even more time. Am I confident it's going to release later on this year? Oh, to be honest, no. I still think, even after what I just said about all the competitions next year, if we're not hearing about release date now and it's nearly October, the game can't be coming out this year. It just can't be, unless they're really confident of doing like a stealth drop. And I just don't know, stealth drops don't normally work as well. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. Obviously, if it does come out and if it's looking good and it's shaping up to be what the potential I think it has, then yeah, maybe it can compete with some of them big games, like I said. But I would still say I would love to see this release early next year rather than like right bang in the middle of some of them other big hitters. The first big hitter, of course, is going to be Sons of the Forest releasing in February. So if this were to come out in January or even February, because it is quite a bit of a different game, then yeah, I think there's definitely room for it for sure. Uh, I just wanted to be able to devote time to it, to be honest. Like that's why I say this as well. If there's three or four big survival games out, then yeah, I've got to sacrifice one or two of them that I can't cover all the time. And I'm sure a lot of other creators are in the same boat. And players, you really stick to your survival games even more just the one or two than try and maybe every single one out. So your time is limited as well. So a game's got be in top-notch kind of condition or it's got to be something really really unique or something that maybe doesn't have as much competition for you to devote your time and resources to it i had expected news to drop maybe over the not e3 events or maybe gamescom but no kind of come and went and gone so i guess the next big reveal if they're just not doing it off their own back could be the future game or um, show or the game Awards show i should say in december or maybe they'll stealth drop for the Steam Next Fest next week, which is happening another bunch of Steam games. This is going to be coming to console in the future as well, but at the moment, yeah, when it comes and arrives, it will be early access on Steam only. And yeah, they did have some sort of beta test a few weeks ago as well. So they're building towards something for sure. I'm confident it's going to release. It's not like it's going to be abandoned wear or, or hype over nothing. Merge Games is pretty reputable. They're pretty experienced. So yeah, I'm just looking forward to giving it a try really now. I think my hype has kind of peaked and then died and now it's starting to rise again. So yeah, there we go. Anyway, I've spoken a lot about that. I'm looking forward to it. Progress has been made. It's looking great. The world looks full. The environment looks better. And let's just hope that we get a release date and hopefully news about some demo very soon. As soon as we do, of course, I'll drop that news for you. And until next time, Ratbags, I will catch you later.